guys, Ariel over here at Finest. So today I am doing some baked cod, actually. It is still wintry. It's sunny out there today, but it's not above freezing. And <clears throat> this is just a nice warm dish. So what I've done here, you could use whole garlic cloves, but I've kind of quartered mine up just because they were pretty large, the ones I had at the moment. Um, if they were smaller, I would have just left them whole. I'm just going to soak them in a little bit of olive oil here. It's probably plenty. And a tiny little bit of lemon juice. So just like a tablespoon or so. And let's get some thyme soaking in here. This is thyme that I dried from my garden. Well, the beds around the house last year. There we go. Mix that in there a little bit so the herbs can start to moisten and soak their flavor out along with the garlic and the oil there. And then what I have here is a cod filet. And I am going to just make this into kind of serving sized pieces. Now this is wild cut cod. Um, in the summer, if I do fish, I will, if I can, use um, local trout and such. But while you certainly can fish in the winter, our winter has been so, so cold here that it's really hard to fish when the temperature is way below zero because for one, the fish most often aren't biting, but even if they are, you can't keep the line thawed out. So there I've got cod. And this would probably work <coughs> well with almost any um, any kind of pale or fish. I, I think the powers, uh, the, the flavor of some of the stuff I'm putting with it would be a little overpowering if you had a really strongly flavored fish like a salmon. So you could probably give that a try, but I like the more mild, lighter fishes for this recipe. So I'm going to do just a little fresh ground pepper there. A little bit of salt. This is so quick and easy to make. Um, it only takes about 15 minutes to bake. Don't want to over bake your fish because it'll just get kind of tough. You want to just flake apart. So I've put salt and pepper on there. Now we're going to kind of make this pretty. Um, last time I did this, I didn't have any fresh tomatoes around, so I used sun-dried tomatoes, actually, which I had made, and they were really good uh, in this as well. But this time I did have a little box of fresh ones. So I'm just going to cut these in half and kind of sprinkle them around here with my fish. This is, this is not something I make very often because buying the fish is kind of on the pricey side, but it's something I really, really do enjoy. And I'm having dinner with a friend tonight, and so it seemed like a good time to make this. And I think I'm going to make some, um, probably some broccoli and maybe a cucumber salad to go with this. Yeah, our tomatoes are making this all look really pretty for one. That might be enough. Maybe I'll do one or two more. Because the sauce that this makes with the garlic and everything is just so amazing that anything that cooks in it is really terrific as well. Okay, we'll say that's enough. Tomatoes. Then I would normally use a lime or a lemon. Uh oh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, but I didn't uh, happen to have any here today. I forgot to grab one last time I was in the grocery store. So I put lemon juice in there, but what I'm going to actually do on top is just, this is kind of for decoration, but it adds a little citrusy flavor too, is use some clementines here that I had that were almost getting over the hill needing used up. So I'm just going to slice them up and kind of decorate fish with them as well. And again, lemon or lime I think is, is a better choice, but I was out today. So this is what I do. 
make do with whatever I have around because I'm not much into running to the store for one specific ingredient. That might be enough just like that. I think we'll keep this guy for later. Juice mess. Check out how pretty this is looking. Good time to mix up your um, olive oil and herbs here ahead of time to let it the garlic soak in it longer. That would be terrific. I didn't. So now we're just going to drizzle this kind of right over the top of the fish, making sure I get a little oil on each of the fish pieces. And then I'm just gonna kind of spread the garlic around in between everything here so that it can bake together. And there you go, that is ready to go in the oven. Um, like I said, this should bake for about 15 minutes, but that can vary a little depending on your fish. But when it's done, I should be able to stick a fork in it. And if I just twist it, the flakes should kind of fall apart. And then I don't want it overcooked any longer than that. Oh, and about 350 for the oven I find works pretty well. And 15 minutes later, here is what it looks like. This was absolutely delicious, and I think you will enjoy it if you give it a try yourself. Hi folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.